breaking news this morning. This is a big story. A major milestone in the fight against the pandemic. We are ready. CBS This Morning, weekday mornings at 8 on CBSN. everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thank you for joining us. We begin on Capitol Hill, where senators are battling over a sweeping voting rights and election reform measure backed by most Democrats and the White House. A look at the Capitol, where the Senate will vote on the For the People Act today. President Biden and Democrats argue the legislation would protect democracy, as many GOP-led states introduce voting restrictions. The bill has no Republican support and is expected to fail to surpass the 60-vote threshold to avoid a filibuster. The bill would establish automatic, same-day, and online voter registration nationwide. It also expands voting by mail and outlaws partisan gerrymandering, among other election protection measures. CBS News's Skylar Henry has more. It takes 60 votes to start that debate. Senator Chuck Schumer says he's pushing forward with the voting rights bill, even though Republicans plan to block it. They don't want to talk about it. They want to sweep it under the rug and hope that Americans don't hear about it. But Americans will hear about it. Among the provisions in the bill, the For the People Act would create a national automatic system for registering voters and establish national standards for mail-in and absentee ballots. It's the latest version of the so-called For the People Act, which is a massive, massive takeover, federal takeover of election law. Democrats say it's necessary to combat new restrictive voting laws passed in Republican-controlled states. Republican legislatures are making it harder to vote early. Harder to vote by mail, harder to vote after work. Republicans remain unanimously opposed to the federal legislation. Today, the Senate's going to fulfill our founding purpose, stop the partisan power grab and reject S-1. Senator Joe Manchin also previously expressed his opposition to the bill. The West Virginia Democrat met with President Biden about it yesterday. The president expressed how important this bill is to him. This will be a fight of his presidency. Manchin has offered a compromise